Hey folks, I'm Chris Brenton, and in this video, I want to talk about the deep dive module within AC Hunter. This talk will apply to both the Community Edition as well as the Enterprise Edition. So the deep dive module is designed to allow you to, you know, do a deeper investigation on a particular system. Uh, there's a couple of different ways you can access it. One is I can just simply go straight to the module itself. If there's a system I know I want to investigate, I can just go in and start typing in the IP address. Notice that as I start to type in the IP address, it's going to go through and show me which IP addresses are known within this data set. So I may be able to go in and kind of do a partial type, and then from there I can just click on whichever one that I want to. Or I could just type in the whole address, whatever, which, whichever one makes life easy, basic. And your screen's going to look something like this. So down the bottom, this is a summary of the communications that took place with this IP versus systems on the other side of the firewall. So in this case here, I'm looking at an internal private address. So this is summarizing all of the communications that took place out towards the internet. If I was investigating an, an external IP address, I would be seeing a summary based on systems it was talking to inside of my network. Whether it initiated the connections or my internal systems did regardless, um, it's still going to combine them all in. And you'll notice we've got an awful lot of data here. I can click and drag the screen around to kind of help zoom in on things that I want to pay attention to. And you'll notice some of these things are color-coded. So anything in white, that's our way of saying that we didn't see anything really suspicious about this. This looks like it's just a normal connection taking place, probably not something that you have to worry about. Anything that you see in orange, that's our way of saying this, there was persistency here. You know, this looked like something you might want to pay attention to. We do ignore safe list entries for the purposes of this one screen, just so you have one spot where you can always see everything anytime you want to. So this could be something that was previously safe listed. It might not be. If I click on it, you can see I get a summary of communications that take place. There was a total of 28 connections between this internal IP and this external IP that I just clicked on. It looked like it was TLS-based. It's labeled SSL. It's probably TLS. Uh, Zeke just labels everything that is SSL or TLS as SSL. And then it's also, uh, you know, what, what was looked up before the user went and actually accessed this IP address. So I got a good summary of information here. Now we're saying it looks a little off. And it looks a little off is because you can see there is some persistency here. It's not all day long, but, you know, this could potentially be a C2 server running bank hours or running uh, work hours. You know, so it's only running for like six to eight hours during the day, and that's it. But again, we're trying to kind of give you everything in one spot. If I want to pivot, see this little P up here? What does pivot do for me? So let's say I was investigating, you know, this system and who it was talking to out on the internet. And then I clicked on this and said, hey, this looks interesting. I wonder if any of my other internal systems have been talking to this host. Well, if I click on pivot, that changes the connection to be that external IP address. And now I get to see all the internal systems that are carrying on a conversation with that system. So let's say I have decided that that first internal IP I was looking at, let's say we decided, oh, yeah, it's compromised. <laughs> it's definitely, oh, that's a command and control channel. One of the things I always want to get a handle on is scope. Well, one of the easiest ways to get a handle on scope is to just simply look and see, is any of my other internal systems talking to that same command and control server? If they are, I'm probably going to have to go in and make sure I pay attention to those as well. So that's one way to get into deep dive. The other way I can do it is I can do it based upon the drop-down investigation menus. So again, let's say I'm looking at this and I'm saying, oh, hey, my internal system you know, 850 times per hour, it's talking to this alpha.stjamesch.org. That sounds kind of suspicious to me. And I want to do a little bit of a deep dive on this external IP. Again, my first option is going to be deep dive. So I can just click there. It automatically filters on this IP. And now we're off to the races. And in this particular case here, I can see this is the only internal system that it's talking to. I can do the same thing for my internal hosts. So again, I've got a deep dive option off of my uh, source IP investigation menu. So I can always jump into the tool and work with it that way. More connections there are, a little bit longer it'll take the load, but it's usually not too bad. So that's the deep dive module in a nutshell. Hopefully you've found this video useful. 